Hello world! My name is Jamira, or you can call me Myra for short, and I'm a creative pro at the Apple Store in the Brickell City Center in Miami, Florida. Welcome to Creative Projects. Today, I'll be shooting and editing looping video magic using this camera and the Clips app. These days, I've been noticing these incredible cinemagraphs by French director and photographer Romain Laurent. He makes these surreal looping videos. His loops all have this like whoa factor. He took a surfer from the beach to the desert. How, Romain? Why? What? When? Who? I'll be connecting with him to see how I might add some of that magic to my own loops. Let's call him right now. Hello, Romain. Am I saying your name right? By the way, can you can you just say it for us? It's Romain Laurent. It's uh, it's it's got it's French. Romain Laurent. Close enough. <laughs> I've been shooting a little bit of video on my own, mm -hmm. and I want to kind of take it to the next level. So take a look. All right. Oh, it looks great. Just cool motion. It's playful. I think from there, what you can do is just experiment with different locations. Now that we've seen that you're inside, maybe it's cool to just go outside or change your outfit. You can do whatever you feel like. I would go for something kind of silly, I think. I think this is that Roman sauce that I would like to put on my loops. That's going to kind of take us from this to that. I know you probably don't want to give away all your secrets, but what are some other transitions that I might be able to experiment with? Yeah, you could use the abstract transition. You just hide the lens. It could be your hand, it could be the ground, it could be anything. Or there's time lapse, and time lapse on iPhones are really fun because you can walk around. They're stabilized as well. I just love being out, and that's really what makes me full. And then anything on top of that is just a bonus. So if it doesn't work, it's it's okay. If it works, it's awesome. Let's do that. Are you down? Are you down to go outside and I'm try some so things? I'm so down. I already have like a bunch of places in mind that are gonna make Miami look way better than LA. So I'm gonna go ahead out there, and then I'm gonna give you a call back when we're done. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Exactly. Let's go. Real quick. Today, you'll need an iPhone with the Clips app installed. We'll be using it to edit the videos we capture into romance style loops. We are about to shoot some loops. My first stop is these really cool lifeguard towers. My plan is to try a few different transitions to figure out what loops to build later. I'm starting with my camera at the ground, but anything goes. As long as you can easily replicate your starting point at the end of the clip. I'm gonna do this a couple of times to get the movement down. Now for the fun part. Let's test it out in the Clips app to see if it works. First, I'm going to tap the photo icon at the bottom left to pull up my recents. After picking a video, I'm going to import it by pressing and holding the big red button. Then trim the ends until they match. For me, that's not this patch of sand. Then hit duplicate a few times to test it and see if it loops. Yeah! It loops, it loops. This looks so good. Next transition I want to play with is a time-lapse mode and pull back from the lifeguard tower. Steady movements. No need to move fast or slow, as long as it's the same pace. And make sure that you film long enough for each clip. Every three rotations on the record button equals just about one second of footage. Keep breathing. Don't forget to breathe. Now let's see how it loops. Perfect. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep going. We're in Venice right now. I'm looking to capture some obstruction transitions, some whip ends. What I'm gonna do now is shoot some uh, time lapses. And we'll see what happens. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. This is where uh, my goofy side comes out. Oh yeah, that works. This is gonna be so cool. So this is totally different than the lifeguard tower. I feel like it's a whole different vibe. When I'm on my normal lens, I'm not seeing the top of the structure. So what's really awesome is this ultra wide lens. We go from boom to bam, boom, bam. For this one, I'm just gonna walk directly backwards. Steady, Myra. I'm also trying to think too about the speed that I shot the lifeguard tower because with the time lapse, you wanna maintain the same speed and you don't wanna change and have it be slow and then fast because we really want this to be a smooth transition. And cut. I think that one is good. Yes. Yes. 
I'm using a simple selfie stick. It makes it really easy. It's much more steady. So transition into the next time lapse. And boom. All right. Let's see what we got. Nice, smooth. I'm gonna go around the corner and do another one and see if it all works together. Now I want to match the rainbow white bloop in front of the lifeguard tower. For that one, I started from the ground, so I need to match that same camera movement at the start and end point. Cool, back into clips to line everything up. You really want it to have that circular motion, like round and around. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, let's go. I'm putting tape in the center frame of the previous shots, so we can align this next shot. Now I'm gonna go back into the time lapse, center it, and go for it. This looks good. Roman said to play with scale and location when adding something unexpected. Let's see if this neon rock sculpture works with these rocks. Ooh, that felt good. With width hands, when you only have yourself as a subject, is really adding up like a bunch of little clips of you in different locations. There's so much stuff here. There's no way Roman got anything like this. I don't think I can be beat. Why don't we go home? Let's cut this all together and let's see what Roman has to show us. Hi, Mara. How's it going? My day was fantastic. I kind of just fell in love with Miami all over again. Nice. I'm so anxious to see what you've done. Like, the, the anticipation is real for sure. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, watch mine, watch mine, watch mine. Oh, that's a really good one. It's so simple. It takes one clip, but just flips it upside down. You should look at my first loop. Okay, okay, I'm excited. Okay, here we go. How did you move across the floor like that? Time-lapse. With time-lapse, if you've just been around, it will look like you're just not moving. It's like when you first saw the moonwalk, almost. Yeah, that was almost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, watch my next one. All right. Oh, that's cool. Now I want to go back out and like add on to that and kind of do like a, a collaboration. My next one is definitely not as cool as yours. Oh, where's this gonna go? Oh, okay, now we've taken it to another level. To me, that's like what time travel looks like. Like, whoop. Okay, watch my next one, watch my next one. I love this, I think it's really smart. In the giant rock structure, I was like really running, okay? <laughs> I was concerned that it would be too shaky and I almost gave up halfway through the run because I was like, this is not gonna be any good. And when I watched it, I was so surprised at how smooth it came out. Stabilization on the iPhone is really, really good for that. Okay, I really yeah. can't wait to watch your next one. Go for it. <laughs> I think I really got the reaction I wanted. I'm really happy. <laughs> Can I get a tissue, please? <laughs> I am starting to have ideas. After every clip, you're like, oh man, I wish you would have called me because we could have collaborated. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. I say, Let's collaborate, Roman. Let's tell the people goodbye in like the coolest way that we possibly can. What do you think? That's a great idea. I hope you all had a ton of fun and learned something new. Let's go over what we did. First, we tried a few different transitions to create the foundation for our loops, trimming the beginning and the end until they could loop on their own. Then, we kept adding to our loops with clips featuring the same camera movement. Finally, we added a little magic by changing our subject's scale or location in an unexpected way. Now that you're done, hit export to send your video to a friend or just save it to share later. And that is how you shoot and edit video illusions in clips. For those of you who are new to the Today at Apple universe, you can find creatives and creative pros just like me at Apple stores all around the world. We're here to inspire you to take better photos, record your own movie, produce your own beat, or even write your first line of code. We'll be adding more episodes regularly, so if you liked what you saw, like and subscribe or share this video with a friend. I can't wait to see what you all create, so please share it with me with the hashtag TodayAtApple. No, seriously, I, I can't wait. Start now. See you later.